Hey guys, I'm about to film real quick. You mind? I mean, uh, I'm about to film real quick. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Hey guys, this is Gerard again with uh, Gerard's Horticulture Culture. This page is about plant care, plant information. I keep saying peas, but I'm just, it's just plants. I'm, this channel is all about plants and uh, my goal is to uh, inform you, teach you something maybe, uh, and uh, bond with you on your plant journey and take you on with my plant journey. Uh, that's basically what it's about. I'm just literally documenting my plants growth, what I do with the plants, just my whole routine with uh, my plant care. So if you haven't checked me out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all my upcoming videos. And you can also check out my videos in the past. In this video, I'm just going to be planting some plants in the terracotta pot. And I have a special occasion. I'm just going to do a lot of shout outs to a couple of people that I want to mention in today's video. Keep watching. Y'all tucked in? Here we go. All right, like I said, uh, the, I keep saying it and I'll keep saying it and I'll keep saying it over and over again. The plant community is great. Um, one special shout out that I want to just start out with I just want to really thank you, Pam Ella. Um, guys, if you haven't checked out her channel, I'll put the, her, you know, her picture right there. That's her right there. Um, she's, she's just awesome. She's like somebody I, I, I met growing up in the neighborhood and, you know, we just click like that, but we have actually it's total opposite. I've never met this person. Um, just watched her on the page on her channel and, uh, just her comedy, everything that she's just putting out there as far as her plant journey with her kids, her family, her husband, her photography. Uh, I just like to see what she's got going on because it's very interesting. And she <laughs> you know, she likes to be in graveyards. I mean, um, that's I look at graveyards as like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the pe I don't know what's her pimp. I, I, matter of fact, I don't even want to try to understand it. That's you. That's a beautiful thing. Um, me, when I look at a graveyard, I kind of use it as motivation for me to hurry up and do things that I need to do before that time comes, whenever it may should, whenever it should be. But that's neither here nor there. So th we're going to start out with the video. I'm not going to talk your head off. Just going to just show you how I plant these two plants. Like I said, one is, well, I haven't explained it to you. One plant is the uh, Silver Moonshine Philodendron. Um, lovely plant. I have to find a climbing pole for it to grow on because right now it's definitely got, it doesn't have any type of stability, so it's just flapping over, and I don't want to cause any damage to the plant. And then the second plant that I'm going to be potting is the, the Monstera Adeonsi Wide Leaf. I just actually took a propagated cutting from it and I'm trying to just make a bushier plant, but I think the plant's pretty much on its own. So I just wanted to start another section um, from the plant because the plant right now is just falling over and I had to trim it. And uh, the good thing about plants when you're getting indoor plants, uh, and, I, and I, I know people don't like to spend a huge amount of money for these plants, um, whether you're able to or not, or maybe you just don't even want to and you can. For me, I do have a budget. I don't like to spend like hundreds of dollars on plants, but if it's a plant that I really, 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 really want, um, that really, really, really want helps me to bring that plant home. And then the second thing that makes it even better is that if you get a plant from a nursery, the great thing about it is, uh, one thing that I've been doing very often because to kind of offset the spending for the plants is what I'll do is I'll find a plant that I can divide. So if it's in a pot and I'll show you this right now.
So if it's in a plant like if we this is the star bite philodendron, um, it's already in a pot. Now say I think I got this plant for thirty dollars or something like that. So what I could do is looking down at the plant. There's one, two, three sections of this plant that I can now divide and uh, with the great powers of Facebook and social media I can sell a division of this plant and maybe two because I actually have three possibilities that I can either keep this part here I can choose which one I want basically I just I can choose whatever I want Slice it in half, shake it out the dirt. Like I said, sell it on Facebook and or create my own online website to offset my love of the plants. Um, I was, or I could start my own plant store, but right now it's just way too much things going on. So I, I mean, that's, those are some goals, but meantime, the between time, the most convenient thing that I'm doing is uh, dividing the plants or finding a plant that I can divide and then I can sell it on Facebook, ship it out, package it up and make my money back from the expensive plants. And the ones that you can't find and divide like the uh, Monstera, like the real expensive Monstera variegated uh, constellation, you can grow that plant and it's still holding its value. Uh, I did get uh, in my, you know, since I've been doing this channel, I've had three. I've gotten two, and they've all come from the same spot. And if you haven't seen my channel, you know where they come from. Um, they're coming straight from Thailand. So the prices are up. So what I ultimately want to do is have to sell those cuttings, and I definitely will be selling those cuttings because I want my money back. And what's better than that? I mean, it's like the gift that keeps on giving. That's why I keep saying it's Christmas and it's always christmas for plants because this is like the the only other thing now it's one of the things that uh you can uh do if you like taking plants on you can just buy plants divide them sell them and you know make and then they'll grow right back i mean i could get this size back within a couple of uh months depending on the growth speed of the plant so that was just my take on the high price plants that uh you know could be on upwards of thirty to forty to fifty dollars and then I've seen plants for like twenty five thousand dollars and I'm like, wow, these plants are ridiculous. And yeah, the eBay's there there's plenty of channels where you can search and hunt plants. Um what I usually do is when I'm looking for plants, I uh search around i just search around and if uh i see like a medium price range if i could go under that price range and maybe get a smaller plant and just have to deal with the small plant that's fine with me that's just how i work but whatever you choose to do that's what you choose to do next we're going to be doing the uh video montage or mi video of uh, my planting of uh those two plants, the Monster Adion side and the Silver Moonshine Philodendron. What I'm using as dirt is uh, Happy Frog, Fox Farm Happy Frog. It's a premium soil. I only got it for about eight bucks. Um, it's all natural, has mycorrhiza, bacteria, and um, it doesn't have anything like on the label on the back of the bag that tells me I should like protect my hands or anything like that because some of these soils that you would find in a lot of places they use like animal litter um poultry litter it just it just just doesn't seem appealing and then that's what you're bringing in your house um but it's just not appealing to me i mean you could do whatever you want to do that's up to you but i just want stuff that's all natural doesn't you know nice nice earthy stuff nothing synthetic nothing too wacko just to the natural design because nothing's better than a natural design and I'm always like a natural loving person that's why I love natural plants so here we go the potting of the two new plants that I got keep watching all right folks you can't see me but I'm just trying this new setup in the room I have uh, my 
silver philodendron silver hastidum and uh, I have a cutting from a wide leaf monstera adiansi I'm going to be planting in these clay pots and I'm going to show you how I get down and I also got these clay pots for $1.99 at Hobby Lobby sometimes they got 50% off it's like a flip flop thing but also main thing is what I'm starting my plants out with it's some good nice earthy smelling all natural fungi bacteria inoculated soil that's going to basically allow these plants to grow up as best they can so what I'm going to do now is start with the silver moonshine philodendron and want to squeeze the pot just to loosen up the roots and it just fell out of there just fell out of there like that so we're going to reuse this soil and we're going to mix it with uh, the other soil that's on there this down inside pot that down I am gonna get something to uh, get this to climb on because it's just flopping everywhere that let it do that for right now and hold this on the side then we're gonna wrap the um, adamant on side nice root system bare root I'll do this put a little bit on the bottom Add them down a little bit, then fill them back in. Ooh. We could be messy because I got everything's pretty much protected. Push this down a little bit to make good soil, root to soil contact. Of course, this works well dry if it's wet, it would be dirt everywhere, but it's still clean. And the nozzle got this from IKEA. The nozzle allows you to angle it around in the roots, so I was able to get it in you know in spots if this was a big problem. But I'm just using this for filling in the dirt. Next, what we're going to do is, uh, like I said, I am going to have this grow on something and have them both growing on something. And then I'm just going to top it off with the pump sprayer. And I'm just getting the soil nice and wet so it just invites those roots and everything like that to settle in easy so 
So that's basically how I root the plants, man. Not too uh, complicated. Just come with some correct dirt. Be gentle with the roots. And know what you're working with as far as what part of the earth these plants come from. And try to mimic the environment. You shouldn't run into any problems. Lighting, soil, temperature. Uh, um, what else? Uh, and TLC. Because you got it inside your house and you just got to make sure that you can mimic where these guys come from. Long story short. Alright, so that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you hope you liked what you see, if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, let me know what you guys like to plant your plants with. Do you like to make your own soil? Do you have a favorite soil brand? Let me know in the or do you even care about what you plant your plants with? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, this is Gerard Twitter Culture Culture. And once again, keep growing. You better keep growing. Because if you ain't growing, I don't know what you're doing.